Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, and this is Tools of the Trade, where I talk about one of the coolest tools that I use every day in the Jefflytics business. And that tool happens to be the learning management software we use to power all of our course sites on the Jefflytics platform. So PPC course, analytics course, and agency course are all run using this piece of software called LearnDash. Now I stumbled upon LearnDash a couple of years ago as I was looking for adequate solutions to deliver my courses. Now the first time I launched PPC course it was on a completely different platform and that was a disaster. There was all kinds of problems, all kinds of promised upgrades to the platform that ended up breaking, all kinds of weird issues with taking payments and credit card solutions and I just was about to give up with the whole online course business. And so I did a search to say okay well what software can I use? Can I self host it? Can I place the course on another platform? And during my evaluations only one piece of software really met my needs and that was called LearnDash. And LearnDash is something that I've been using since late 2015, early 2016, and it's been a really great piece of the business. And I plan on sticking with it for a long time because they keep on making upgrades. It's a WordPress plugin, so it builds on top of WordPress, and then it integrates with pretty much everything else in WordPress as well. So I have this really cool ecosystem we've developed based on LearnDash and other WordPress plugins and WordPress themes that we've used to develop our courses. And the funny thing is, even though it's just a WordPress plugin, I think that our course looks better, works better, and behaves better than almost any online course out there. And a lot of my students say the same thing. They say, hey, what platform are you on anyway? It looks so much different than the other generic courses that are out there. That's exactly what I was looking for. And I'm going to show you behind the scenes in this video why I love LearnDash so much. And finally, before we look inside of LearnDash, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this shirt. This is the end of t-shirt week. This is the last t-shirt I'm wearing. And I just wanted to give a shout out to the company Moz because I really enjoy their product. I've enjoyed their blog for years. And I've been a contributor for a long time as well. So I got this shirt from being a contributor on the Moz blog and getting a certain number of Moz points. And actually, this is something I'm looking to incorporate into our courses. Not Moz points, but some kind of point system so people can get rewarded for taking our courses, for consuming all the content we have and for answering the questions we have in our quizzes and just for being awesome. And so Moz Points got me this t-shirt. Hopefully we're going to have some points and maybe I'll give out some t-shirts for our courses in the future as well. So I hope you enjoy this perspective and I look forward to showing you inside of LearnDash right now. So let's talk about why we build all of our courses with LearnDash. And I want to start with just a little bit of a background into my experience building online courses. Now, it took me a few tries to get things right. I tried in 2014, I launched my first course, and it was pretty much a disaster. Almost everything I did, I did wrong, but I learned from it. It was a stepping stone. It was a learning experience. I learned that if you have too much technology in place that you rely on and it doesn't make for repeatable processes, you're going to have to do a lot of work maintaining your website. And so in 2014, my first course was launched, and it involved two different things, a platform called Optimize Press and a membership backend called Member Mouse. And it was really cool to get it done, to have something out there, but it turns out that anytime I wanted to make a change to any of the videos in Optimize Press, it was a lot of work. I had to clone a page, make changes, and there was nothing scalable about it at all. It was really a painful process, and eventually it got to the point where my site was running so slowly, and I just wasn't enjoying it, that I decided to just delete the site rather than keep on maintaining it. So basically cut my losses, hedge my bet, go elsewhere because it was just so much work to create this that I was like, you know what, this isn't working for me. I'm going to go ahead and delete my website. And so these technologies have gotten much better since then. Optimize Press and Member Mouse, they served me really well when I was just getting off the ground, but I did realize that they weren't the greatest tools for developing an online course. And so I decided to try something that was a complete opposite in my 2015 edition. And this is when I launched my PPC course. It was basically videos hosted on a platform called Rainmaker Digital. So instead of being a bunch of different components where I was tweaking around with building a website like I had done in 2014, basically in 2015, I went all in on a hosted platform called Rainmaker Digital and it was okay. I got everything done. Actually creating the course was really easy. I just uploaded a video and it was ready to go. Didn't have to spend a lot of time managing things or moving things around. They had their own learning management software built in. It really wasn't meant for online courses. It was more for like a membership site, but I made it work. And so Rainmaker Digital was okay, but then I had some problems with Rainmaker and I had to start over from scratch. Basically Rainmaker as a hosted solution, they weren't progressing their tool nearly as quickly as I was progressing my business. And so it was holding me down at a certain point. 
and I needed to start over from scratch. And so I tried things like Teachable, Sensei, some membership softwares, and every other platform that was out there. I looked at Elegant Themes to see if they had any options out there. I installed a bunch of stuff. I did a bunch of free trials that I'd have to return the software. I tried everything that I could possibly think of to get my site up and running. And finally, I fell in love with something called LearnDash. Now you might be wondering what the heck is LearnDash. That's really what this video is about, is sharing with you my experience with LearnDash. And I wanna let you know why I like it so much. The first reason why I like it is because the developer is honest. It's basically a single person developing this. Now I think there might be other developers involved now, but he's sort of the figurehead of the business. His name is Justin, and he's really working hard at making this the best learning management software out there. The features are spot on, especially for people who wanna learn. That doesn't have all the bells and whistles that all these other platforms have. It might not nearly be as pretty, but the features are spot on. And it's built on top of WordPress, which I really like because anything that's on WordPress, I can make changes to, I can customize, and I can get it to do what I want it to do. So I love that it's in WordPress, which means that I have access to the code. And I can make code modifications as I need to on top of what's already on my course without breaking my course itself. It integrates with many other providers that are out there, and I'll show you some of these integrations as we go forward in just a second. And now we have three courses that are running on LearnDash, and we love it. So what I wanna do is I wanna share with you eight things we love about LearnDash as a software for our courses. And then we're gonna share two items that we can't wait to explore in 2018, things we haven't implemented yet, but we are looking forward to doing. Number one, the structure of course content. It's structured in a way that's so easy to understand. You have a course, you have lessons, you have topics, and then within that you have quizzes, certificates, assignments. It's basically all you need. And so what we've done is we've basically made a course is something like beginner Google Analytics. And then the lessons are the lessons that go within that. And then topics are things that go within a lesson. And so it's a one to many relationship. You can have one course that has many lessons and then one lesson that has many topics and they go underneath each other. It's really easy to organize. You can drag and drop if you want to, and you can control where things are showing up. We really like the way that this is set up because of the different hierarchies that are out there. And it really makes it easy to understand. It makes it easy to build an outline for a course and then have it match exactly inside of our learning management system. So I love the way that they structure course content. It makes sense logically. It makes sense with the way that we think about our products. And so we really enjoy this setup within the structure of the courses. Two, you can use the software to set up access to the different courses and lessons. So you can lock down different pieces of content to make sure that different levels can see them. You can make sure that only people who purchased a certain course can see that lesson. You basically can lock down and set up access control to your content however you want to. And so instead of worrying about the parameters of either everything's on, everything's off, you can set it up specific to certain courses. And it just works much better this way because you have the ability to lock down things you wanna lock down and make things open to the public. If you wanna develop free courses, you can put it on your learning management system as well. Number three, you can rename the custom labels. So instead of calling it a course, in some cases we call them jump starts. So in agency jump start, for example, we put different jump starts out there. You're not really taking a course, you're jump starting a different part of your business. And so we change the language there. And everywhere on the site, it does not mention courses, it actually mentions jump starts because we aren't talking about a course, we're talking about jump starting your business. And so we can rename it however we want to, and it fixes everything down the stream and it works automatically within the learning management system. There's easy to use short codes. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of a short code, but within WordPress, we can basically put this LD profile, for example, on a page in WordPress and it shows somebody's entire learning profile. It works really well. We really like the ability to just put in there whether or not they're a student, whether they're a visitor, all kinds of different short codes you can put in place using LearnDash to display content to the right people at the right time. Because as you get further along in the online course journey, you have different levels of access, different reasons why people might go to your site. And this way you can protect the content accordingly. Number five, you can drip feed content. So when we release certain courses, we don't make every lesson available right away. We might say 10 days after you sign up, 20 days, 30 days that you can actually get to the content after you sign up. We drip feed the content and it works really well within LearnDash. Now there was a little bit of an issue with drip feeding content in subscription services that we just got cleared up. And that was another cool thing about LearnDash is that if you see a problem, you can work with their development team and they're gonna fix it for you. So they fixed our biggest problem with the software within a week or two of us letting them know about it. Number six, it integrates with WooCommerce. We chose to use WooCommerce as our way to sell courses because it has a lot of the features and bells and whistles you want in an e-commerce software 
but it's also easy to use and easy to configure. And so integrates really well. Courses from LearnDash, they go right into the products that you have within WooCommerce. Number seven, it integrates with membership software. So the membership software we have in place right now is called Paid Memberships Pro. The reason why we like this software is because it allows us to lock down different pieces of content. And not only that, we can choose specific menus for different types of courses we have, and we can make it so that it's very straightforward who can access content and who cannot. And it can be designed to match the complexity of our business as our business gets more complex or as we offer more products that are out there. Number eight, it integrates with BB Press for forums. This is nice because you can lock down content. You can say only if you can access this course, can you access this forum? And so this is one of the ways that we lock down our forums so that search engine crawlers can't see content, yet people who have purchased the course can see the forum that is assigned to them. It's a really nice way to lock down content exactly how we want it to be locked down. Now at this point, I'd say LearnDash is everything that we need and some things that we want to start trying out in 2018. The first one is integration with Zapier. So what I would like to do is make it so that whenever somebody completes a task within LearnDash, whenever they do something, I want to send it to Zapier so we can either send them an email or keep up with their profile and keep track of how far along they are in the course and then make sure that we give them the right content. And so if we integrate with Zapier, we can keep on sending users data into our database. We can send it into our email marketing platform, which is Drip. We can do whatever we want to do based on this Zap happening within LearnDash. So if somebody does something, we can have a reaction and a trigger that happens because of Zapier. The other thing that I want to start experimenting with is learning badges. Now they integrate with something called Badge OS, and we can make it so that whenever somebody checks off a box or learns something, finishes a quiz, we can assign them points and we can give them points and gamify our learning experience. That's something that I want to implement in 2018, and I'm really looking forward to that as well. Now finally, I want to say this is not the fanciest tool out there. It doesn't have the most features, the most bells, or the most whistles. And that's why we love it. All we want to do is have a great learning management system so people can learn. I create the content. The system helps them learn and keep track of what they've learned and put them on the path to learning. That's what we want. We want simplicity. We don't care about having every single feature. We care about learning. And that's really the most important thing to us. Now, if you're interested in trying LearnDash, if you're interested in trying to do a free course or develop a course for somebody, you can check out jefflytics.com slash learn dash and you can learn more about this piece of software. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to get more tools of the trade and just learn what's going on in our world here at Jefflytics. Look forward to talking to you soon and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.